Hi everybody, I'm back and I'm here to discuss what happened to my new Polish bread bag and why I'm making the change I'm making today. Because there is, I hate to say it, a trust issue now. I will be right back to discuss my new haversack. Okay, folks, back again, but now I have my new haversack, which is really not a haversack, it's a Roscoe tool bag. Um, I just started looking online to see what I was going to use since my Polish bread bag, my new Polish bread bag, failed me. Um, so, this is it, and my brother's always getting on to me because he says I pack too much. And I probably do. And I will learn as I go along not to, but right now, this has some qualities that I really just thought was going to suit my needs. Um, like I said, I love the outer pockets. I keep my gloves, my cartridge. We're not going to go into everything I put in because everything I have in my Polish bread bag was in here except for a couple of new items. But I'll discuss that in a later detail because this is about my bag. Um, more outer pockets. So, you know, I can keep just different items I want out here. And then the cool part is just the way she opens up. And I can carry my. Right? and my bedding's down in the bottom it's going to seem like it's going to do a, a lot more for me but like I said I still got some things that I have to do with because it it's not waterproof so I'm going to see what the best way to do it I'm thinking starch guard, guard but if anybody else has any better ideas please shoot them my way other than that um, this is going to be my new test thing since my new Polish bread bag like I said great bag but just it just failed me and there's a trust issue now so I'm going to try this and hopefully for the 2024 rest of the year this bag will be said new bag so remember get out in the dirt and have some fun <laughs> 